Since its inception, radio has effectively raised awareness, educated, entertained and connected the masses, particularly reaching remote and vulnerable communities where connectivity is a challenge. The process is swift, more accessible and cost-effective. But in Ghana, its operation has been disrupted by persistent assaults on presenters by both individuals and groups. On February 3, 2022, Police officers assaulted Eric Nanajetua, a radio presenter with Connect FM in Takradi, causing damage to his eardrum. On January 13, 2022, a ransack at the Adan Community Radio resulted in the attack and injury of one person by masked, heavily built men. On January 10, 2022, 20 armed police stormed Accra FM in Laboni and arrested drive time host Dr. K after a failed attempt to arrest the news anchor for Afghan coverage. In May 2023, Abubakar Sadiq Gariba, a radio presenter from Dagbon FM, was physically assaulted by a former NDC Northern Regional Communications Officer for criticizing him. On June 8, 2023, Captain Smart of Onuya FM and TV and his crew were saved by the bill after a man from the Obwasi Municipal Task Force attempted to prevent them from mounting their live radio equipment for a program. These are just but a few. Retired director of radio at GBC and a media consultant, Gordon Avenobo, says sometimes some broadcasters go overboard with what they say, but that should not warrant attacks on them. We have developed a lawless society. No one should blame a broadcaster for saying something on air. If you are, if you are not satisfied with what the broadcaster says on air, there are processes to address it. Nobody has a right to go into a studio and attack anyone. Such people are criminals. They must be penalized under the law. But are the law courts doing that? Is the police service doing that? How often have we had them processed before the law? He expressed fear the attacks could worsen even in a run-up to the elections and advocated for continuous training of broadcasters to ensure sanity. Without training, you cannot get a core group of broadcasters who know the game. The training is expensive, so proprietors and media owners are not willing to invest so much in training. And it's not just one training. I was privileged, maybe I was blessed by God. I don't think that can happen now. After BBC, I went to CNN. After CNN, SABC. After SABC, I went to Deutsche Welle. I went to uh, 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 Irish Radio. So I have a collection of the attributes, the quality, the standards of all these put together to make a whole unit of a personality in radio. Probably institutions of learning must uh, be given grants to improve on training standards. Ghana's 60th position ranking dropping to 62nd in the Reporters Without Borders Global Press Freedom has been linked to the discontented individuals storming radio stations to cause chaos. Evelyn Tengma, TV3 News, Accra.